welcome back today we went over to michael's and i just got a bunch of stuff really i was not even going in for diamond painting things but i ended up grabbing a few diamond painting things and then a lot of other things as well i will show you guys everything but here's the trip real quick as soon as i got into michael's you know i headed straight towards the clearance and i actually found some bracelets in there they're like five bucks though and then I found these sparkle magnets as well from Diamond Dots. But they were really close to five bucks as well. And I couldn't really justify spending five bucks for three magnets. Talking about how much they love cats. So I decided to put that one back. Um, I found this design as well. Those are the only two variations I found. But I didn't really get any of those today. But I did find some Funko Pops. Um, nobody was asking or wondering at all or cares, but I started collecting some Funko Pops. Um, so seeing them on sale was really exciting. But I found so many tiny things as well. Oh my gosh, I just wanted to show you guys these so bad. And look, tiny cube shelves. I have a big cube shelf. Oh, I was finding so... It was so hard to justify not spending so much of my money on tiny things that I don't need. They were so cute. Oh, why are they so expensive, though? Oh, and I could not find the diamond paintings anywhere. I was looking forever. Like, where are they? But eventually, I was able to find them. I was super excited to find them. It, it was in a small little corner between the canvases and some wooden things. But wait, $52? Why is that so expensive? They were like all that much like i don't know it seems kind of pricey i didn't really plan to go spending that much money on marks today but then i kind of did okay so we just got back from michael's and literally got so much stuff we got like 179 dollars worth of things that's basically 200 dollars. not gonna lie i definitely went a little crazy in the clearance section if you put clearance over anything i'm gonna start spending unnecessary money and that is exactly what happened so not everything is diamond painting but i'm gonna show you guys everything anyways but we'll save the diamond painting for last so if you don't even like want to see what i got if it's not diamond painting feel free to just skip ahead a little bit so the first thing i'm gonna show y'all is isn't this so cute it was half off it's originally 12, so this was like six. Isn't that cute? They had another kind that had like the normal colored pots, like the brownish color, and this was gold. And I really wanted the gold this, but with the white pots. And that just, it just wasn't an option. So I decided the, the white pots are like, have a more bold look. So I decided to go with that one. Um, I got these cute pieces of ribbon. No idea what I'm going to use them for yet. But again, it was clearance. This is pink with gold on the top. No idea. Got some glitter flarp. It was a dollar. Again, unnecessary money, I'm telling you. Um, I got this pack of four paints. It was more all like pastels. So I thought that was cute. Yeah, it's easier way to see the colors. That was only like three bucks, I think. I got two packs of these. It's actually for an, an upcoming video. I'm not gonna exactly tell you the, the whole idea because you'll see it. Well, I hope you'll see it. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you the whole idea, but it's kind of like really weird. But I, I think a friend told me I should do that like a really long time ago and I just haven't yet. And I thought that would help. I got two sets of googly eyes. One's bigger and one smaller. Um, I got multi-surface premium glitter acrylic paint. Three bucks, so I got two. This is Artist Loft's Slow Dry Blending Gel Medium. I got two of these, because <laughs> it was also only three bucks. This is Artist Loft's Modeling Paste. So again, just three bucks, so I got two of these as well. I got this glitter glue. Again, more clearance, but I got little tubs of paint, I guess. This is called powder pink. It's like a super light pink. Um, this is called sea glass. And this is called a hint of pink. Basically a white, just with like a pink undertone, I think. 
and I also got paint pens in black and white. And that wasn't all of the unnecessary things that I got. I actually got plenty more unnecessary things. I'm not sure if you guys know about like Funko Pops, but I started collecting them recently. Oh gosh. But um, they had a few here. So this is the Dumbo DIY. Usually I try to display like in a box with the DIY ones. I'm not sure if I'll display in box because they're white. So I feel like they go with my like home decor really well. And they had a few more. They had like the DIY Bo Peep, but retail, it looked like she was only six and these were all priced at 10. I wasn't gonna do that. Here is the Michaels exclusive Anna. I couldn't find how much she goes for online, but it was a Michaels exclusive. So I decided I'll grab her. I've never seen this version of her. She's in a weird little pose. Like look at that hand on hip action. I also saw this one which was going for 10, but I think I saw it was actually going for like 22. So I decided to grab him for sure. I've never seen this one before. I thought it was so cool. That wasn't like the only Funko Pops that were there. They had a bunch of mini ones for $5 instead of 10. So I got grabbed two Star Wars ones because they're all mystery minis. So I have no idea what I have in here. And then I also grabbed a Wreck-It Ralph mystery mini and this Kingdom Hearts mystery mini pack. I don't know, I've never heard of Kingdom Hearts, but it has some people that I do know on it. So I decided to grab it anyways. We can actually open the mystery minis real quick. Like, I don't wanna leave y'all hanging, they're mystery. We'll start with the Kingdom Hearts ones. Here is our figure. I'm honestly hoping to get Mickey. Oh, I got Donald. That's still another good one. I'm okay with that, cause I actually know this person. But yeah, he's super cute. Look at him. We'll move on to the two Star Wars ones. Um, mostly because I'm mostly excited about the Wreck-It Ralph. So I want to save that one for last. Um, these are the options of who we can get. They're all a 1 in 12 chance. I thought it was interesting that they were all 1 in 12. For some reason, I was thinking some would be like a 1 in 72. Like, like there's no rare or exclusives, it seems like, in these. They had a whole case of them. Like I only I held back and I only got two. If they were like mystery Disney ones, I probably would have gotten the whole thing. Not gonna lie. I have very little self-control. Okay. I got this guy. Oh, he's so cute. I love how he's like already on a stand and it says like Star Wars there and everything. And they're all bobbleheads. Like Star Wars and Marvel and all those characters, they're usually all bobbleheads. Opening up our next one. This one feels much bigger. He almost fell out. At first I thought it was Darth Vader. Darth Vader. At first I thought it was him, but it's not. I don't think I know this person. If you know who this is, feel free to comment down below. I must have missed some part in the movie. I think this is Darth Vader, but this is the guy we got next to him. Darth's brother. I don't know, to be honest. I'm opening our Wreck-It Ralph mini. Here are the options of who we can get. I don't know why Ralph's on there twice. Oh, he's holding something in the top one. I mean, it doesn't feel like Ralph, but it's bigger and that's for sure. So I know it's not Penelope. So not exactly the person I was hoping for. <laughs> I don't even remember this guy. What What is this? He has a, a tail. He looks like I would pull him out of the Star Wars kit. After that slight disappointment, we can move on to the Diamond Painting thing. Basically, the only company I found at Michael's at all was Diamond Dots. I even found some things they had in clearance, which was exciting. And then I also got a few other, and maybe it seems unnecessary things as well. I found they have sparkle bracelets. I haven't seen this before, at all so i thought i would grab it and kind of see how it goes yeah it says fun to make cool to wear and then it shows a picture of how it comes with drills and the dnc chart but yeah so it's a whole bracelet kit we can unbox this in a second and i'll show y'all like everything it actually comes with um another thing i got was a blank grid i've heard that these exist but i've never seen a blank grid before yeah, I mean, it's a blank grid. It's a 
30 by 91. So this is a long boy. And that's centimeters, of course. It's uh, 12 inches by 36 inches. I mean, yeah, I guess there's not much to that. I don't really want to unbox this right now. It's literally a blank canvas. Another thing I found there were like their little packs of colors and drills. I noticed that they had these like extra shimmer ones. So I made sure to grab actually two of these. I also found a neon pack. You don't really see these too frequently when it comes to um like normal diamond paintings as well. Like I didn't want to grab like traditional colors per se because these are like 15 bucks. I'm not grabbing colors I already have, but I never see neon in diamond painting and it's a rare when I see like the extra shimmer ones and I love these ones so much. So I grabbed two packs of each of these because I got a whole like 30 by 90 blank canvas over there. And then for our diamond painting, which is the last thing, found this one. This is the one I settled on. All of these are surprisingly super expensive. Here's the picture of what it'll be. There's the label. Well, it's an 11 by 14 inch painting. Um, It's a 27.94 by 35.56 centimeter. I mean, it seems like pretty random numbers, but that's what we're rocking with right here. So yeah, we'll unbox this as well. So I think they're actually having some sort of sale, which I'm okay with. <laughs> These normally are $14.99. Under it, it says I got two at $4.50. And if that's the case, I would have grabbed more. The total ended up being $9 for two packs of these, even though they're normally $15. Same with these, the extra shimmer ones. It says they're normally $15, but I got two for $4.50. And that is some huge sale. I don't know what that was. There were no signs around this, so I thought it was full price. But a lot of the things in Marks did did look like they were for sale. Um, this was in clearance, so it was four twenty seven. But originally, these braces are twelve dollars, and this normally is eighteen dollars. But according to the receipt, which I didn't know I was getting any sort of sale on, I got this for fourteen thirty nine. Like I showed you guys some of the prices when I was like in Michael's. Those prices are ridiculous. $20 for this, sure, but $50 for other painting things, I, I don't know if I would have done. I don't know, I've never had a, a Diamond Dots painting before. I hear good things about it all the time, but if these are always going to be like 50 bucks, I don't know how often I can like sustain that. Same thing with Diamond Art Club, but I know that quality is good. I don't even know how good this is yet just doesn't seem the most consumer friendly when it costs so much you know but let's get into unboxing all this let's start with these our extra drills um i feel like here you can really tell with these that they really are super shiny but let's just open it up okay so i totally ripped up the box sorry i know that's not satisfying but these are Oh, I thought it only came in four colors too. Okay, it, it's literally just five on the box, but for some reason I was thinking it came in four. But here are our extra shimmer colors. We have this white. We have this like orange. And this yellow. Green. And this blue. So all of those are so cute. And for the neon now. So in the neon, we have the neon white, which isn't really a thing. Uh, maybe they all come with some sort of variant of white. We have this neon orange. We have a neon yellow, a neon green, and a neon pink. And these are so bright. So here are our new drills. And although these are expensive, this is a lot of drills. Like this is a big container. This is not like a normal Tic Tac size. This is like mega size. Here's a Tic Tac container. And compared to these, like it's so small. So, I mean like they're similar in height, 
but not with. So these are massive. And I think that would be the only thing that could possibly justify the price. <laughs> and here is our bracelet kit. And also everything's wrapped in this foam. I feel like it's mostly so it stays in that little window on the box. That's kind of nice knowing that it has this extra layer of protection. Thankfully, since I don't know how to do this whatsoever, um, it comes with instructions. I'm kind of being a little sarcastic. So then dot sparkle bracelets. And I love how it's like picture instructions too, because pictures are a lot help more helpful than words, I feel like sometimes. But oh, we have cute little designs on our bracelets. Um, before checking out those, you can see it comes with um, a few drills. And a pretty standard toolkit. Um, one of the clear pens, a gray bow, but it's shaped as the green ones. There's no like funnel or anything. A pink grippy and some wax. This is a bigger square of wax, and I can see that it's wrapped. I think it's not like all the way wrapped in. It just has the normal like film over it, but it's customized with diamond dots. Um, and this wax. Like, you can see my fingers through it, so you can tell that it's not, like, a super fresh or, like, dark wax. Um, it kind of looks like somebody already tried using it. You know, for a little bracelet kit, you don't need super strong wax, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully their adhesive is good. So, yeah, it comes with these cute little ladybugs in a green bracelet. Um, on a white bracelet, it has, like, diamond spades, hearts, and clubs for like cards. Um, on this green bracelet, it looks like it has like four leaf clovers. So pretty cute. Probably not any bracelet I would wear normally, um, mostly just to create for fun, I guess. The container is called Lucky Lucky. So I guess they, I guess each case probably has some sort of theme because these all are based around luck. Like this is luck, of course. Ladybugs are lucky and you have to be lucky when you're playing cards, I guess. Um, here's our chart. This is what we've got. It looks like we have like eight colors here. And here are those eight colors. Oh, cool. Some of these are actually really cool. So here's our first color, second color, third, fourth. You can count two. There are like no whites in here. <laughs> and these aren't those cool those are sweet and then these as well super shiny oh love that and let's go over to the white bag i feel like it's going to be easier here to see like the actual quality of the drills themselves um they do look like they have a good amount of cuts and i don't really see like any imperfections on any of them they all look super round but yeah, they have a good amount of cuts. They're reflecting the light really well. I'd say they're good. These are some good drills. I've seen zero hitchhikers. So that's good. I, I never really think hitchhikers are a big deal, but some people don't like them. But now we can open the our actual diamond painting. So here's our box you saw before. Um, and here is our painting, which seems to be wrapped very tightly. I suspect it's gonna have a hard time unrolling. And then we have our drills and our toolkits in here as well. And yeah, it's like my new carpet. I got it from Five Below. It's like just a little rug, really. But it's really soft. Here are our drills and their toolkit. Oh, it came with a little contained wax. That's cute. Um, it's a pretty similar toolkit to what came with the stick or the bracelets, I mean. Oh, there's a few differences, really. The pen is the same, classic white glitter pen. Comparing to the previous kit we opened, um, they're both still gray boats, but this one does have the funnel. And it seems like a pretty long funnel as well. And it has like tall walls around it. And these ridges are actually really good too. So this is a pretty good boat. Purple grippy, it has a little customized wax. It says diamond dots, super cute. Um, it just comes with one wax in it, but it's like really thick. So one super thick 
wax. It seems to be a bit better quality. You can still see my finger through it, so you can tell that it's a little transparent. Um, so it's not like the freshest wax, but I think it's still pretty good. Um, I think it's still better than the bracelet wax. And it came with a, a bunch of baggies as well. And I don't even know how many colors this came with. But it's a lot. Oh, it came with instructions. So that's good. Like a whole, a whole mega, I don't even know what this is. What is this? Oh my goodness, it's huge. This is bigger than the diamond painting itself. Yes, so here is our diamond painting. It's kind of hard for you to see. Um, it's starting to unroll. So here you can kind of see it. Just cute little flowers. It is super cute. I love like the splashes of color in the background as well. It's gonna look so nice with drills. I do feel like the painting's a little small for 20 bucks. I feel like I could get something similar off of Wish that will be bigger for 20 bucks. So there's 30 colors and they're all of these colors. I mean, the painting itself is really cute. Although it's taking a minute to flatten out, um, it is doing it rather quickly. It does seem really sticky as well, so that's good. So yeah, it's called the Poppy Poppy Pose. But yeah, it's a 27.94 by 35.56. Fabric is another weird number, 35.94 by 43.56. It's actually looking pretty good. I feel like those E's are a little blurry, are actually a, a little like blurry. Like look how fuzzy those letters are. Yeah, no, the camera's focused, but those are some blurry letters. Of course, I can still tell what it is. Like, look at all these little, like, red lines. Like, of course you can tell what it is, but, like, why is it so fuzzy? At least, well, every symbol that's by another symbol is pretty unique. Like, I was looking at that little cursive A. I was like, what if they have a normal lowercase A anywhere near it? But there's not. Yeah, so all of these symbols are pretty unique. If you don't ever hear like the R's next to what are the spades? I don't know why the print bled like that. I've heard so many good things about diamond dots, so I, was, I guess I was expecting more out of this painting. Still not horrible. It's a very nice picture. I love the design, that's for sure. I was just like expecting more when it came to like basics of the print itself, I guess. The adhesive got a little weird here. It's really like bubbling a bit, but there's no imperfections on the canvas so that's good this canvas is beautiful like it's like a little papery but like it's not like the kind of like fabric that has the fuzzy back that's like thick and soft it's like a little bit papery fabric but still like better quality than i've had in the past that's for sure so that's our diamond painting let's look at the drills real quick as well so there are 30 colors here. Here are all of the colors. There are some pretty unique ones. Like this like really soft tannish pink isn't what I was expecting. There's like a few pastels. This color is very nice. Um, that white bag is packed. They have some of these like special drills in here as well. Oh, they have the yellow ones too. So they all look nice and I love like, watch how they sparkle. Those look really good. Um, I'm assuming these drills be similar to the other ones. Oh yeah, look at those cuts. That is a good amount of cuts. You can see how like, how many different surfaces like can reflect off of. Look how round it is. Like what? Yeah, I noticed that they really take the time to perfect their drills. So that's really nice. I always admire like a company who, you know, takes the time to make everything as perfect as possible. And these grills are looking nice. They're all shaped super well. Literally seen not one hitchhiker. I don't know how that's even possible to not have a single hitchhiker. So yeah, I guess that was one of the more unique hauls we've done. 
and we haven't done too many i guess maybe they'll just get crazier every time let me know if you guys kind of liked that, that kind of video where i would actually go to a store like michael's and see what i can find there i was kind of expecting to find more to be honest like they had a lot of things that i could have gotten for storage as well but i feel like i've been doing a lot with storage recently and i need to kind of like i guess get more things put in my storage i don't know i just didn't need any more storage I'm really not sure if the diamond painting itself is worth it. Diamond Dots is a good company. I guess you can compare it to Diamond Art Club in a way. And I always think those are expensive as well. I guess you get what, you're, what you pay for, but I still think Diamond Art Club is like, I don't want to say like a better company. Both companies have a lot of like quality to it. Um, I could tell a few differences between um, Diamond Dots and Diamond Art Club. So that's pretty interesting. But I do like that diamond dots is actually like in a store like a real store like i physically went to a store and was able to get a diamond painting i think that's pretty cool and i really hope we can see more companies like stepping out into that like retail store type thing sorry i don't know if you can tell i'm holding my phone so my hand's literally shaking oh my gosh i can't even hold a phone so I'll just finish this up real quick, but we do have a shout out for today. The subscriber shout out of the day is actually going to my grandma. Thank you so much, grandma, for subscribing. She was over the other day. She asked what's going on. I told her a bit about the channel and she like immediately went and subscribed like right on the spot. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna watch all of these videos. I was like, oh my gosh, thanks grandma. So that was really kind of her. So shout outs going to you, grandma. Love you. Make sure you're subscribed for a chance to be featured in next week's video. And I'll see you all next time.